Hello everyone and welcome back to another Star Stable episode. So my inventory is full of stuff. Um, but yeah, this is gonna be great. I've already shifted all of the um, competition, all the club horse tack here and their questing tack. And then now I need to shift over this tack for my actual, you know, questing horses, the ones that aren't part of the club yet. So yeah, um, we're going to move those over to this page here. And then this page will be for like the main and like, you know, the main stuff and the uh, halters. And then I'll have a page near the back that's for the tail stuff. Okay, let me move all this stuff a little bit. Okay, how do I want to organize this? So I definitely want the flower crowns to be in their own little category. So I guess I'll kind of do it like that. Slowly shift stuff over. Not really doing this in any pattern or anything, just kind of shoving all the flower crowns together. I have so many flower crowns, I didn't even realize I had this many. And I think there's still more on the other page, so... Okay. Let's just shove these in here like so, and then go back to the first page. So those are more bows. Okay. So I've got three more things to move from the first page. Okay, so I think over here... Let me shift these over. Will be the flowers. And then like the middle area will be the bows. And then I think I'll do a row with hats. Okay, so this is also a bow. It's not the pride head ribbons, but it is a bow. So I think I'll keep it that there. Or I'll kind of shove it. Hmm. I could put it there and then have this go down the sides like that. I literally bought all of the pride ribbons. Um, okay. Are there any other head ribbons? Not yet. However, that's a tail ribbon. Okay. Horseshoes. Perfect. Alrighty. So we've got all those. And then... Hmm... How do I actually want to do this? I think I'm just going to have this be with the hats. Actually, no. This will be down here. Perfect. Okay. And then the halters we can put over here. Where's the pride halter? I have this halter. Okay, I have a pride halter somewhere. But anyway, we have those. Ah, that's right, I gave it to her. Okay. So I give it to Faith Dreamer. All 
Alrighty, okay, so we've got page three done, page two is clear. So let's kind of shift all these up and see how much room we have. We don't have a lot of room. So, hmm. So this will be for bridles. I kind of want to sort the bridles a bit by color, maybe. So like this one's green. This one's kind of a purpley color. This one's more of a red. This one's blue. Or actually, I don't know. Let's see. This one's a brown. This one's white. So I'll just put all the white bridles. This one will go with wherever the purple one went. Red. I don't know, is this birthday bridal brown or purple? That's kind of like a purple color. This is brown. This is white. Okay, we've got a bit more room for transferring over tack, which is perfect. Okay. So now let's transfer over this tack. So let's start with Faith Dreamer's set. I think I can literally just do it down like so, so that way we have more room. Okay, and then Morning Flowers Tech. these tack sets. Phantom Hurricane. And then we've got Yay, okay. So we can have at least one more tack set. We can have one more tack set on here to keep like the rows between. But in case if like we're like, ah, I don't care, then I can just, you know, shove all these together. Okay, so here will be bridles. So let's find the tab that I originally had the bridles in. There we go. Any more bridles? Plenty of bridles. Okay. This is a brown. This is a reddish color. I'm gonna count that as red. This is like a blue. I think the blue and the green I'll put together. I'm just going to count these as like colorful bridles. Okay, let's put these here. This is also brown. We've got a lot of brown bridles, I just noticed. I think it's because we are using all our black bridles for um, tack sets for the competing horses, for the horses that I use in the clubs. Well, in the club. So, yeah. Okay, so we've got headwear. We've got bridles. I think saddles should be next. Yeah, let's do saddles next. And I'm kind of going to do two pages, one for Western saddles, one for English. 
We've got a brown western, or sorry, that's English. I'm a dork. We've got white English saddles. We've got another brown English saddle. What color are you? You're like a purple color. Another brown. And then western saddles will go here. That's a brown saddle as well. Okay. I don't have a lot of western tack, do I? Just shove all this in here. I really don't have a lot of tack left over. Okay, so brown. <laughs> I have a lot of brown saddles. That's awesome. Okay. So western saddles. I only have three. Which makes sense because I mostly do English stuff. So I don't have a lot. Okay, now for saddle pads. I don't even know if I have any western saddle pads. Other than the one that I had. Okay, let's do blue, brown. Okay, so the smaller saddle pads I'm gonna have grouped together in a category. Like the rounder saddle pad, like the bigger round saddle pads I'm gonna have grouped in a category as well. And these are more grays. This is kind of like a purple. But see, I don't know. Is, would that be considered like kind of more westerny? I don't know. So I'm just gonna group all the saddle pads together that are like roughly the same size. And then we've got white. So let's just group all the purple and blue together. The white can go here. Eh, sure, why not? We don't really need another category, I don't think, for the smaller saddle pads. Okay. <sighs> so we've got the bags. So I think we'll do saddle bags next. This one's kind of old and ragged. This one's a western one. This one's blue. That one's black. This one's like kind of like a reddish brown. This one is tan and like kind of like a green. I'll put that one there. That one I'll put there. Wait, that's a western. There we go. Okay, so we have those. Okay. Or what I could do is have the sa uh, no, let's just put the pull let's just put the leg wraps there. So red, brown, white, like a creamy white, white. What color are you? I think you're more of a purple, but we'll just group you with the red. This is kind of one weird color. We'll group you with red. And you'll be grouped with brown. Okay. All that's left, it looks like, are the tail ribbons and horseshoes. And those will be all in the same category thing. So let's put the horseshoes there. Pride tail ribbons we'll put here. Nah. Okay. Okay. What is that? That's not pride. There we go. There we go. Okay. And then these ones can all go together. There we go.
By the way, it's going to be like... There we go. Okay. And then we have the ribbons. The ribbons will all be staying back here. Okay, so we are done with horse gear. It's only 15 minutes in, right? So should I start with all these clothes? Oh my gosh. I agree, Toothless, I agree. I mean, I don't have that many. <laughs> so right now this will be for my casual riding outfit. I kind of want different boots. Oh, I kind of like how the green goddess books, books, boots look. Let's do those. There we go. Okay, so we have those. Alrighty. I don't know if I really want to touch this. <laughs> I'm like, eh. Okay. So these are kind of already organized. It's just the matter that I have a lot more clothes. So like page seven is like, um, it has all of my different types of attire. For example, this is my Western attire. Here, I'll just put it on so you guys can see. So that's how I would look with my western attire. I have to take off the gloves or else they won't come off. Shove the gloves back on. And then we have the... This is my show jumping attire. That's how that looks. I really like how it looks, so... Yeah. And then this is my dressage. This is... Ugh, can't speak. This is cross country. And this is kind of like a hunter set, but I'm going to get rid of it. I'm going to find a new hunter set. But yeah, this should not be there. <laughs> That's all of my club gear. Not me kind of messing up how it looks. Shut that down one. That goes here. Yeah, I think I want to change my hunter set. So I think that used to be my cross country set. I honestly can't remember. But yeah. Okay. So I need, so I have Western, show jumping, dressage, and cross country. I need racing. I need, um, let's see, what other disciplines do I have? I need racing. I need, Hunters, and I think that's it. Two, four, six. That should be it. Just racing and hunters, I think. If you can hear something snore that snoring, that's toothless. Okay, so for racing, hmm. 
We definitely want a helmet. I think the pink bobcat helmet would work. So we'll put that on. And then what else for racing? We want kind of lightweight clothing. But also I think that's long sleeve. But won't slow down the horse. Let's see. That's your sauce jacket. Let's do the top quality riding jacket. And then for pants, I'm not sure. Maybe the checkered riding pants. Okay, shoes definitely have to be boots, but those are too tiny, those are too short. But I don't really have anything, so let's... We could just do the starter gear boots for it. And then I think gloves is the last thing. I think that, hmm, let's see. Are there any other gloves that I have to choose from? I just have these work gloves. Okay, um. I think we will do, I don't know, I feel like the street gloves kind of fit. Okay. So then we'll also do street gloves. Okay. So that's my racing gear. And last but not least, I need hunters. <laughs> Which I do believe I need a helmet for as well. Toothless is over here snoring. I don't believe I have a helmet that I can use for hunters. Like a separate helmet. Well, I got this embroidered Celtic set, which I really love how it looks. Hmm. I know this is a cross country jacket, but I kind of like it and I kind of want to wear it for West, or not Western, for uh, Hunters. But hmm. Yeah, we'll wear the pink cross country jacket. And then for pants. 
We can do the soft winter pants. And then we have to find boots that match and gloves that match. And then I'll just use one of the other helmets that I use. Or I'll just have the starter gear, starter gear helmet. That works too. So boots. Sure or not, let's just wear these. These boots. And then gloves. Okay. <sighs> no, I didn't mean to put on the gloves. I wanted to put on the boots. Alrighty, so we have all the sets that we need. I think we are good. I don't think we have to do really any organizing. Oop, let me shift these down a bit. Okay, I'll do a little bit of organizing later. Kind of don't want to organize right now. <laughs> But yeah, um, I hope you all enjoyed, and I know I, so I thought that this was going to take, like, you know, one more episode to do, but I'm just going to finish organizing off camera. Next episode, we will be doing a few quests, possibly, and also possibly be doing a bit of training. Oh my gosh, it's so bouncy. But yeah, um, I want to, I'm going to want to ride probably my dressage horse. So winter dew. So yeah, I will be riding winter dew in the next episode and we'll be doing some quests. She's not going to be pet right now, I don't think. I just want to pet you. No! She says, uh, no. Do I have to mount you first and then I can pet you? Is that how you like things? I guess she doesn't want to be pet right now. Okay, so we won't pet you right now. Don't worry. Yeah, she says no. She says no thank you.